Welcome to evergreenmd.org. I'm Matt Jablow, and this is the Evergreen Health Outlook. Starting January 1st, all Americans will be required to have health insurance. For many people, including thousands here in Maryland, that will mean choosing their very first health insurance plan. And as we all know, it can be a very confusing and complicated process. Joining us now is Dr. Peter Bielensen, president of the Evergreen Health Co-op. Dr. Bielensen, for starters, big picture, what should people be looking for, specific things, when they choose among health insurance carriers? Well, what you really have to look at is how much is truly going to come out of your pocket. What people mostly focus on is the premium, how much you pay each month, the sort of the sticker price, if you will. But healthcare costs are much more complicated than that. And so you've got to really dig in and look beyond the premium. You have to look at co-pays, which is how much you pay at the time of a visit, usually 20 or $25. Co-insurance, what percent? Of, what's, of the cost you have to pay yourself in addition to your premium, and then deductibles, which is how much you have to pay out of pocket before the insurance even kicks in. So you have to really beware very low priced premiums because the lower priced premiums generally have a high deductible. In other words, you might have to spend five or six thousand dollars on your own before the insurance even kicks in for low premium plans. This can be a very intimidating process. You and I have spoken about this over the last few months. Very intimidating for people who have no experience in this field. What would you recommend to the, to the first time health insurance buyer? Well, without question, going on the exchange, which is the virtual online travelocity of healthcare coverage under Obamacare, doing it on your own, I think is gonna be very difficult to do because it's hard to get past the, the sticker price, the premiums, and you're gonna to have to really dig in and it's hard to find how much truly would be out of pocket. So there are two real options for you. One is to call a broker, uh, insurance broker, or us here at Evergreen Health Cooperative and we can help you through the process. Um, and the other is to go to a navigator um, who is literally someone who helps you navigate through the system and get on the exchange yourself and you can find them through your local health department and they are unbiased. How do you think it's going to go the first few months of signing up hundreds of thousands of people, many for the very first time, for health insurance? Maryland is actually far in front of most states, so we're, we have an exchange that's ready to go October 1st. I think it's going to be a relatively bumpy road though for the first several months as people um, learn how to navigate the system. And Evergreen, why do you think, for a lot of people, why do you think the Evergreen option is a good one? Well, we're very personalized care. Our doctors spend much more time with you than the typical doctor. Um, we have one-stop shop where we have mental health services, health coaching to help you with your wellness plans and keep you healthy and well, as well as your doctor or nurse practitioner. And we have neighborhood-based health care centers that are easily accessible for folks. So it's really a much more personalized, local-based uh, health insurance plan that, by the way, also covers you if you're out of state. And uh, as far as the, the, the cost and less hidden costs with other, than other carriers, right. would you say? So if you look at us, actually, we're the second lowest cost um, to a, a major corporation. Um, but if you dig in, as I was saying, and look beyond the premiums for many, many folks who have a typical year with a, visiting a doctor maybe once, maybe getting a few prescriptions, actually we come out less than the others. Dr. Bielsen, thanks so much for joining us once again. And thank you for watching. We plan on posting Health Minutes to our website on a regular basis on all kinds of topics involving the worlds of health care and health insurance. If you have any suggestions about things you'd like to hear about or learn about, just send me an email at mjj at evergreenmd.org.